When working with multiple angles in Final Cut Pro 10, it may be necessary to synchronize your clips manually. In this video, I'm going to walk through that process. We'll start by finding our first clip in the event browser and finding our visual sync point. We'll click on the clip, navigate to the beginning of the clip, and then use the right arrow key to advance through the clip until we find our sync. You'll notice here that as the hands come together, we hear a clap. At that point, you can set an endpoint by simply pressing the I key. With your endpoint set, simply click, hold, and drag the clip into your timeline. One feature we want to make sure is enabled is the snapping feature. You can enable snapping by either clicking the icon on the top right corner of the timeline or pressing the N key. After snapping is enabled, we'll repeat the same process for the second clip. We'll find our clip in the event browser, navigate to the beginning, arrow over until we see the point of visual and audio sync, press the I key, and drag now the clip into the timeline immediately above the other clip. Now because we've enabled snapping, you'll see that a yellow line appears at the beginning of both clips. That means they're in line. You can simply drop the clip into the timeline. Now that we have our clip synchronized and situated in the timeline, we want to make sure our timeline has a synchronized and separate audio track. For this particular production, I know that the main audio track exists on camera 2. I'm going to control click or right click on that track and click the option to detach the audio. That'll create a separate track for your audio. I want to do the same for camera 1. I want to detach that audio and since it was only reference, I want to delete it. Now that we've synchronized our two clips in the timeline, we can start editing the clips together. This process involves using the blade tool to cut out portions of the top clip. We'll start by moving our masthead to the beginning of the timeline and pressing the space bar to play through the clip. When I find a spot where I want to switch to the other angle, I press the spacebar again to stop, press the B key to enable the blade tool, and use the blade tool to split the clip at the masthead. I can hit the A key to re-enable the select tool and drag the clip back to expose the bottom clip. When we play through, we'll see the result. We can repeat this process as we work our way down the timeline. 